Good evening, friends. Welcome to my channel, Pediatric Classes. Today, we are going to discuss about interpretation of anthropometry. Uh, this is the third video in series for the growth in children. So if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and uh, click the bell icon so that um, uh, you will get the notification for all the upcoming uh, with learning videos. So with these words, I'm going to share my screen. So I hope you all have seen the previous videos. Uh, so in that we have discussed in detail how we take uh, the uh, measure the parameters, how we plot and all. So I'm going directly to the scenario. So this is the first case scenario. That is a four-year-old girl child brought with height of a weight of 16 kg, height of 88 centimeters, father's height of 155 centimeters, the mother's height of 145 centimeters with a normal age of attainment of puberty in parents. So what is the diagnosis? So once you get this question, uh, you have to think uh, and plot. So you need to have, you should know how you will, uh, how you will uh, put your parameters in the tabular columns and all we have discussed in the previous video. So I am now going to just uh, continue with the plotting of the uh, charts. So for this, we need WHO growth charts for weight, height. Okay, so this is a four-year-old girl chest. So I am taking... Um, so first scenario is this girl child thing we'll discuss first. So I'm taking this uh, girl child. So it is a pink chart, the first five years. So I am here now, four years. So when I am going to plot it, this is what I got. This is a, uh, what to say, a practice session. So you have to have it. Before I tell the answer, I think you can actually plot it and see whether your answer is correlating with my answer. If any doubts, you can put it in the comment box. Okay. So this in at four years when I had plotted it. So I have got this as zero. So this is, what does this mean? This means the child is a normal. It's not child. The child is a normal weight not underweight and all okay so about the height and uh, height of this child i've taken the height for age uh, charts who charts for girls zero to five years where will it come once if i plot so please plot it and check whether your answer is this one so if you are getting this answer yes you are right so this shows that the child's height is less than the third percentile. So uh, now you know the child is having short stature because in the short stature means what? It is height or expected uh, for age, which is less than the third percentile for the age and sex of the child. So this is definitely short stature, but now we have, they have given us some more uh, like, you know, clues to get a specific diagnosis. So first we need to calculate the mid-parental height. This is the mid-parental height formula for girls. So for girls, the mid-parental height formula is father's height plus mother's height minus 6.5 centimeters divided by two. So that will account to 155 centimeters plus 145 centimeter by two minus 6.5, which is 143 centimeters. See, nobody will have just 0.143 centimeters at uh, 143.5 centimeters adult height. No, there will be a range. So that range is actually further determined by our target height. So target height is plus or minus something to the mid parental height. So here is the importance. Okay. So this, uh, there is a slight difference here because most of the previous book says MPH plus or minus 8 to 8.5 centimeter is taken as the target height. The recent IAP, uh, so 2015 chart, they are based saying MPH plus or minus 6 centimeters. This 8.5 centimeter is two standard deviation actually, okay? And uh, so the MPH plus or minus two standard deviation difference, that is the target height if you are taking 8.5 centimeters. But if you are taking MPH plus or minus 6, 6 centimeter or 6.5 centimeter there, you are taking one standard deviation. That is actually the uh, difference, okay? So I have used here 8.5 centimeters, that the two standard deviation thing only. Either of you, you can use. If you use the one standard division, this is slightly better because you won't uh, miss even any case of short stature in your practice. So uh, this is the MPH for when I calculated for this child is 143.5 plus or minus 8.5 centimeters. I got a range like 135 to 152 centimeter. But where should we plot this? This should be plotted at 18 years. So we need to have a chart where there is a height plotted at 18 years. 
So that is where the importance of a combined WHO IAP charts come. Uh, don't worry if you are not getting it. Just put it in the Google IAP WHO charts 0 to 18 years. There you will get this chart for girls means pink charts and boys is uh, blue charts. Okay. So here, uh, how should I plot? I should go with this. Yeah, sorry, it is slightly smaller font. I think no, because it's a big, uh, huge uh, graph. No. Uh, so you just download it into the net and see it, observe it closely. So once if I plot it, these are the ones I get. So if you see at the four-year-old child, the four-year age group, there if I plot the height, I have got that it is below the third centile. Again, what is this blue dot? That at 18 years when I plotted the mid-parental height, the blue dot is here. So then I have to actually draw a vertical bold bar this vertical black bold bar this is what i uh, the target range or the target height so when i are plotting i have plotted from 130 cent 152 there if i actually plot this is the line i get and you can note that the child is short and final adult height is also short and this two clues actually with there is no delay in uh puberty and so that is the clues you will get a uh, familiar short teacher okay is that okay okay so that is one thing uh, one case scenario so we should it stresses the importance of calculating the mid panel height and also the target height and also another thing is the importance of having a iap who growth charts in your folder before you go for exams and even in your practice every time have the growth charts on the table otherwise what will happen is uh, you will find it difficult to uh, plot and you may feel lazy to plot also. So always have the growth charts ready uh, on the table. So now coming to the next, actually a four-year-old boy child with a weight of 16 cent kg, height of 88 centimeters, father's height is 165 centimeters, mother's height is 155 centimeters with history of delayed attainment of menarche in the mother. See, what I've done is just to make you understand the difference. Actually, I've made the same weight and not only this is a, this is a boy child and a slight difference in the history. These are uh, the exact scenarios which we were uh, which we used to give for students for discussion, actually. So these questions can be expected for even for your exam purposes. OK, so I have taken a weight for age chart for boys. Have you finished plotting? Have you taken? Do it along with the video. That's the best way to do it, actually. Uh, so I'll I'll pause for one second. And this is what you should get. If you are right. So this shows that the child is a normal weight. The child is not underweight. And when we wait for age, when we had plotted, it is in the zero uh, SD. Okay. Now I have taken the height for age for uh, boys. So what are the three things you should see? We should see this height for age chart. Is it whether the boy or girl chart and what is the age group? So I have taken this chart. So when I plotted it, is that one you also got? If so, yeah. So once you do, you are realizing key again in this case, the height is less than the third uh, centile. So again, third percentile is less. It is less than the third percentile. So it is a case of short stage. Now we need to calculate the MPH over that. So MPH in boys, there is a difference between MPH in boys and girls. In boys, we add 6.5 centimeters, whereas in girls, we minus 6.5 centimeters. Okay. So, uh, see this one. So, when I actually, anybody asking you this uh, formula for a mid panel height, you should say father's height plus mother's height divided by 2 plus 6.5 centimeters for boys or minus 6.5 centimeters for girls. So, why the difference is? Actually, uh, 13 centimeters is the average difference in height between an adult man uh, and an adult woman in according to the Indian standards. That's why we are using that actually. 13 by 2 is 6.5. No? That is why I have put 6.5 here. Some books say like this. Father's height plus mother's height plus 13 or the whole divided by 2. The both are the same. Okay, don't get confused. So both this uh, formula, it should be very thorough. And then when you actually plot it, when you actually calculate it, you get 165 plus 155 centimeter divided by 2 plus 6.5. This is uh, answer is 166.5 centimeters. Okay. Now the target height is, again, I've taken this two standard deviation here. It is 166.5 plus or minus 8.5 centimeters. The range will be 158 to 175 centimeters. 
If you want to take the one standard deviation difference with the MPH, you take six centimeter, this and that's it, okay? So I have taken again IAP WHO charts. Please download it, this IAP WHO chart and plot it. So if you see closely at four years here plotting, this is where you will get the final, uh, the height at four years is less than third cent percentile, but when you plotted the mid parental height, that is the blue dot, okay? At 18 years, it is not short stage. It is well within the normal range. See here, it is the babies are here. The child is having a, a height. It is almost a, a 25 percent actually here uh, between. You can see here, and so if you see, observe closely, we will be able to make out a blue dot, and when you need to actually plot the target height, even the target height is in the normal range, okay? So this shows that even if the child is short initially, child will grow up to be a normal stated adult, a normal size adult once the child attains puberty. So here, there is another clue to the diagnosis because there is a history of delayed puberty. With all these things, when you work together, this is the diagnosis you got. This is a nothing but a constitutional delay of growth or CDG we call it as, okay? So in this session, we have discussed about familial stage stages and constitutive delay of growth. And in the next uh, upcoming events, next videos, I think I will give you a small, short uh, algorithmic approach to short stage also. Uh, so hope you like this session and please uh, do share it with your friends if you like it and put, a, uh, put any, if any doubts or something, please put it in the comment box. And thank you and take care.